went in. Okay. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed it's any suspicious train. activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible Sorry. to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating that looks anything weird on the unusual. Camera. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. I'm fingering your weight. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to put alert the population to the really. vampire threat. Are you asking hmm? me to paste posters about post the vampires post around paste the doors? Posters. If you wouldn't mind. Copy paste. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Seriously. Eh. Eh. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. And what's this? Have you heard of the Guard of Prewa? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it. But I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmore? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour, but I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested by a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom. Okay, Wilson. everyone He's already told He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he to talks to, to you, then it's fine by me. What? Where the fuck is he? Goodbye. Go to the good the good good Where is he? I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Don't mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the turquoise turtle then, Doctor. 
I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You'd best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. So you and your friends all feel in danger? No exceptions? Tom's the only exception I've come across until now. But he's... He's not like everybody else. This place seems... How shall I put it? Very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you yeah. from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? That Latina ass. Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the you judge your son bones. If that's true, you'd be one of the Cheap few bones. not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London. And here I am. Be far marriage. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. Not ashamed of it. Don't care if the customers joke about it neither. Who's huh? mocking you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger, or because of the colour of my skin. He hates jokes about us. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. I didn't know that she was trying to reform marriage. That was a joke. They said differently. She said that they got married and then she's here. She just said they got married and here I am, but you know, she could, mom could be pregnant before and then uh, give birth. Mm. So first marriage. You're always thinking worse about people first. That is correct. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, Finally. sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. <laughs> Welcome back, Doctor. I'm still... What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. <laughs> Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Holy. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? Careful with the this cave. part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run. Or something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock oh. of gin. 
Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, partner. but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Sabrina seems very fond of you, Tom. I like her too. I really do. I know I'm her boss, and I'm much older and all. But I like her, for sure. What is bothering you, then? Sabrina is an angry one. She wears it like a coat. I'm not sure I can make her shed that anger. Uh, it hurts to see her like that. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. Well, it would explain his faith and need to help everyone. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. What the other people are ill for? I don't know. It's cold. And she? Uh, the other one was locked and the first one was cold. Where's the pile? It's a big dog.
Hold on for you. 